Glossary of Q Sports Terms, Wikipedia Audio The following is a glossary of traditional English language terms used in the three overarching Q Sports disciplines, Carom Billiards referring to the various Carom games played on a billiard table without pockets, Pool, which denotes a host of games played on a table with six pockets, and Snooker, played on a large pocket table, and which has a sport culture unto itself distinct from pool. There are also hybrid pocket slash carom games such as English billiards. The term billiards is sometimes used to refer to all of the Q sports, to a specific class of them, or to specific ones such as English billiards. This article uses the term in its most generic sense unless otherwise noted. The labels British and UK as applied to entries in this glossary refer to terms originating in the UK and also used in countries that were fairly recently part of the British Empire and slash or are part of the Commonwealth of Nations, as opposed to US terminology. The terms American or US as applied here refer generally to North American usage. However, Due to the predominance of US originating terminology in most internationally competitive pool, US terms are also common in the pool context in other countries in which English is at least a minority language, and US terms predominate in carom billiards. Similarly, British terms predominate in the world of snooker, English billiards, and black ball, regardless of the player's nationalities. Definitions and Language The term black ball is used in this glossary to refer to both black ball and eight ball pool as played in the Commonwealth, as a shorthand. Black ball was chosen because it is less ambiguous, and black ball is globally standardized by an International Olympic Committee recognized governing body, the World Pool Billiard Association, meanwhile, its ancestor, Eight ball pool, is largely a folk game, like North American bar pool, and to the extent that its rules have been codified, they have been done so by competing authorities with different rule sets. Foreign language terms are generally not within the scope of this list, unless they have become an integral part of billiards terminology in English or they are crucial to meaningful discussion of a game not widely known in the English-speaking world. The ball placed at the front of a group of racked object balls, and in most games situated over the table's foot spot, 32. Same as draw. See illustration at spin. Contrast top spin. A coarse woolen cloth used to cover billiard tables usually green in color. Sometimes called felt, based on a similarity in appearance, though very different in makeup. 1. An area defined on a billiard table by one or more Bach lines. In the eponymous game of Bach line billiards, there are eight Bach defined by perpendicular Bach lines in which only a set number of caroms may be scored before at least one ball must leave the area, 15 in the earlier champions game, there were four triangular box, one at each corner, defined by single diagonal box lines. Not to be confused with bulk, but see second definition. 1. A line drawn horizontally from a point on a billiard table S rail to the corresponding point on the opposite rail, thus defining a region. In the eponymous Bach line billiards there are four Bach lines, drawn parallel to and typically 14 or 18 inches from the cushions of the table, dividing it into nine compartments or divisions, of which the outside A are the box in which only a set number of caroms may be scored before at least one ball must leave the area, 15 not to be confused with bulk line, though the concepts and etymologies are related. See Bach, second definition. Any legally strikeable ball on the table in snooker and generally British terminology. 
For example, in black ball, if a player is playing yellows, any yellow ball can be the ball on until they are all potted, in which case the eight ball is the ball on. In snooker, at the beginning of a player's turn, unless all are already potted, any red ball can be the ball on. Compare object ball. Pool, almost always a variant of eight ball, that is played by bar players on a bar table. Bar pool has rules that vary from region to region, sometimes even from venue to venue in the same city, especially in the U.S. Wise players thus ensure understanding of an agreement to the rules before engaging in a money game under bar rules. Typical differences between bar pool and tournament eight ball are the lack of ball in hand after a foul, the elimination of a number of fouls, and the requirement that most aspects of a shot be called not just the target ball and pocket. Bar pool has evolved into this nitpicky version principally to make the games last longer, since bar pool is typically played on coin-operated tables that cost money per game rather than per hour. Competitive league pool played on bar tables, however, usually uses international, national, or local-slash-regional league rules, and is not what is usually meant by bar pool. Not to be confused with the game of bar billiards. 1-9 A distinctive size of pool table found in bars-slash-pubs-slash-taverns as well as various other venues such as family entertainment centers and arcade rooms at bowling alleys. These are smaller than the full-size tables found in pool halls. While typical professional and competition tables are 9 feet times 4 feet or 10 feet times 5 feet, bar boxes are typically 7 feet times 3.5 feet. However, 4 times 8 and even 3 times 6 examples can sometimes be found. In bars they are almost always coin-operated. Most North American brands of bar tables have pocket proportions opposite those of regular tables in that the side pockets are remarkably tight while the corners are more generous and are therefore considered irregular. Another factor is the cue ball, these tables capture object balls to minimize replays, but selectively return the cue ball by identifying it mechanically to allow complete games. To do this they employ one of two mechanisms to return a scratched cue ball, these are oversized or extra dense. Because these cue balls do not play as competition cue balls and stop slash draw shots respectively, they change the characteristics of the cue ball and are therefore deprecated by aficionados. Smash through. However, Modern bar tables make use of a magnetic core with a regulation or near regulation size and weight paired with a magnet mechanism within the table's ball return system that separates out the cue ball without requiring cue ball characteristics that affect play. Pool hall players complain also that the cloth used on bar tables is often greatly inferior, and often find that the cushions are not as responsive as they are used to. The spot, usually unmarked because of its obviousness at the intersection of the bulk line and long string. As such, it is also the middle of the flat side of the D. In snooker, same as brown spot, 23 24, 38, 10 compare head spot. In eight ball, to be shooting the striped suit of balls, you're big, remember, your big balls or I've got the big ones. Compare stripes, yellows, high, overs, contrast little. Not to be confused with the carom billiards concept of a big ball. 1. Any shot in which the cue ball is caromed off an object ball to strike another object ball. Eyeglasses specially made for cue sports, with tall lenses, set unusually high, so that when the head is lowered over the cue stick for aiming, with the nose pointing downward, 
the eyes can still look through the lenses instead of over them. They are especially popular among snooker players. 1. In snooker, the highest value color ball on the table, being worth 7 points. It is placed on the black spot, 9 in some snooker ball sets it is numbered 7 on its surface. The bottle used in various games to hold numbered peas, it is employed to assign random spots to players in a roster, or to assign random balls to players of a game. A B In European Pocket Billiard Federation 9 Ball, the break box is a zone in the kitchen of the head of the table, from which the break shot must be taken with the cue ball not unlike the D-zone used in snooker, English billiards, and black ball. The break box consists of the middle 50% of the kitchen area, delimited latitudinally by the head rail and head string, and longitudinally by two parallel lines drawn from the head rail diamonds that are closest to the head corner pockets, out to the head string on either side. This departure from WPA World Standardized Rules defeats the common break from the side rail technique for pocketing the 9 ball to win the game on the break, while 9 ball breaks are still possible, they are much more difficult under this rule. This EPBF Euro Tour requirement was added in 2008 to the Europe vs. US All-Star Team event, the Moscone Cup but has not otherwise been seen much by non-Europeans as of 2011. C. D. E. F. G. Applies specifically to games that enforce call pocket slash call safe rules, which require the player to either call the ball and pocket, or call a safety on every shot. After a legal shot, where a called ball is not pocketed as designated, the incoming player has the option to pass the shot back to the player who missed the called shot. If a player calls safe, then after a legal shot, the incoming player must accept the next shot, and may not pass the shot back to the player who called safe. A call shot slash call safe nine ball example. Player A calls the ball on, the three ball in this case, in the corner pocket but misses the shot. The cue ball rolls down table and comes to rest behind the five ball leaving no clear path to the three ball for the incoming player B. Since player A did not call safe, incoming player B may elect to pass the shot back to player A. Describes any game in which during normal play a player must call the ball to be hit in the intended pocket, 8 ball is a call shot game. Sometimes referred to as call pocket, ball and pocket rules, etc., to distinguish it from the common North American bar pool practice of requiring every aspect of shots to be called, such as caroms, kicks and cushions to be contacted. Commonly in bar rules terminology, call shot indicates how the shot will be made as compared to call pocket which means simply that the ball must go into that pocket, details unnecessary. Though technically all shots are called shots, obvious shots are seldom actually called, however, you must still make what was intended. See also Gentleman's Call. 1. The red object ball in carom games. The term is thought to be derived from an orange-colored, tropical Asian fruit, called a carambola in English, Spanish and several other languages, in turn from carambal in the Marathi language of India. H. Also century break. In snooker, English billiards and other British usage, a break of 100 points or more, which involves potting at least 26 balls consecutively, in snooker, but can be earned via a combination of scoring techniques in English billiards, etc. 
A century also means scoring 100 plus points in a single turn in straight pool. A century of centuries is the achievement of 100 or more century breaks in a career, a feat few players have performed to date. See also double century. A situation where the cue ball is directly in front of another ball in the line of the shot such that the player is hampered by it, having to bridge over it awkwardly with the likelihood of a foul looming if the object ball is inadvertently touched. The term is most common in the game of snooker but is used in U.S. parlance. 1. In snooker, any of the object balls that are not reds. A color ball must be potted after each red in the continuation of a break, and are re-spotted until the reds run out, after which the colors must be potted in their order. Although the full term includes ball after the color, they are most commonly referred to with the omission of ball, just stating the color. Same as scoring rack. Also cross rake or jigger. A type of rest, with a straight shaft and X-shaped head for resting the cue upon. The phenomenon that no first-time winner of the World Snooker Championship has successfully defended the title the following year since it moved to the Crucible Theater in 1977. I A material, usually leather, placed on the end of a cue stick which comes in contact with the cue ball. 1. A widespread term in U.S. parlance describing missing a relatively easy shot often in the face of pressure. Can be used in many forms, I dogged the shot, I hope he dogs it, I'm such a dog. See also choke, one stroke. J. Also double elimination. A tournament format in which a player must lose two matches in order to be eliminated. Contrast single elimination. A violation of a particular game's rules for which a set penalty is imposed. In many pool games the penalty for a foul is ball in hand anywhere on the table for the opponent. In some games such as straight pool, a foul results in a loss of one or more points. In one pocket, in which a set number of balls must be made in a specific pocket, upon a foul the player must return a ball to the table. In some games, three successive fouls in a row is a loss of game. In straight pool, a third successive foul results in a loss of 16 points. K L M Possible foul situations A situation where a player has fouled, leaving the opponent snookered. In UK 8 ball this would normally give the opponent the option of one of two plays, ball in hand with two shots, being allowed to contact, or even pot, a ball other than one from his slash her set from the snookered position, with the loss of the first shot. In addition, some variations of the game allow the player to pot one of the opposition's balls, on the first visit only, without the loss of a free shot. In snooker it allows a player to call any ball as the ball she slash he would have wanted to play, potting it for the same number of points, or the opponent can be put back in without the same privilege, having to play the ball snookered on. The definition of snooker on this occasion means the opponent cannot strike both extreme edges of the object ball. A series of successful shots that is lengthy for the player's skill level. The exact implication is dependent upon context, e.g. my high run at 3 cushion is 15, Jones had the highest run of the tournament, that was a pretty high run you just did, etc. Used congratulatorily, it may be phrased good run, great run, nice run, etc. See also high break. To play for money and lull a victim into thinking they can win, prompting them to accept higher and higher stakes, 
until beating them and walking off with more money than they would have been willing to bet had they been beaten soundly in the beginning. The terms hustler, for one who hustles, and hustling, describing the act, are just as common if not more so than this verb form. See also sandbag, on the lemonade, lemonade stroke, shark, dump. In eight ball, to be shooting the solid suit of balls, you're little, remember, you're the little balls or I've got the littles. Compare small, solids, reds, low, spots, dots, unders, contrast big. Also masse shot. A steep curve or complete reversal of cue ball direction without the necessity of any rail or object ball being struck, due to extreme spin imparted to the cue ball by a steeply elevated cue. Its invention is credited to Franz Waming God. Compare semi masse. 1. Chiefly British, competitive play in matches with standings consequences such as local snooker league competition or the world snooker championship, as opposed to practice, playing with friends at the pub, or hustling pool for money. Also simply maximum. In snooker, the highest break attainable with the balls that are racked, usually 147 points starting by potting 15 red S, in combination with black S, and clearing the color S. Also called a 147. In 6 red snooker, the maximum break is only 75 points, due to fewer red balls and thus fewer black scoring opportunities. See also total clearance. An entire class of different mechanical bridges exist for snooker, called rests also commonly used in black ball and English billiards. Mechanical bridges have many derogatory nicknames, such as ladies' aid, crutch, granny stick, and sissy stick, because of the perception by many amateur players that they are evidence of weak playing skills or technique. Small mechanical bridges, that stand on the table surface instead of being mounted on sticks, exist for disabled players who do not have or cannot use both hands or arms. In carom games such as straight rail, bock line, and cushion caroms, where all the balls are kept near each other in a cushion, and with very soft shots, can be nursed down a rail on multiple successful shots that effectively replicate the same ball setup so that the nurse shot can be repeated again. Excessive use of nurse shots by players skilled enough to set them up and pull them off repeatedly at will is what led to the development of the Bach line carom billiards game variations, and repetitive shot limitation rules in English billiards. A clear example of why, in 1907, Tom Reese scored a record break of 499,135 consecutive points over a period of five weeks without a miss, using the cradle cannon nurse shot. 1. Any ball that may be legally struck by the cue ball. Usage notes, when speaking very generally, e.g. about the proper way to make a kind of shot, any ball other than the cue ball is an object ball. In narrower contexts, this may not be the case. For example when playing 8 ball one might not think of the 8 ball as an object ball unless shooting for the 8. 1. Pool, see having the cue ball on a string. 1. Competition between an individual player and an individual opponent, as opposed to team play, scotch doubles and other multiplayer variants. 1. Describes the propensity of table pockets to more easily accept an imperfectly aimed ball shot at a relatively soft speed, that might not fall if shot with more velocity. The less sensitive to shot speed that a pocket is, the faster it is said to be. 
the long rail side of a corner pocket. To aim for the profession side of the pocket is to slightly overcut a difficult corner pocket cut shot, to cheat the pocket, rather than undercutting, especially in nine ball. Erring too much in this direction is missing on the professional side of the pocket. It is so called because experienced players understand that on a thin cut, overcutting the object ball to a corner pocket will far more often leave the object ball in an unfavorable position, i.e. along the short rail for the incoming opponent than will an undercut, which often leaves the object ball sitting in front of or nearby the pocket it had been intended for on a miss. By contrast, in 8 ball, except when both players are shooting at the 8 ball, the incoming player after a miss is shooting for different object balls, so this maxim does not apply, and the opposite may be good strategy as, if the object ball stays near the pocket through an undercut, it is advantageously positioned for a subsequent turn and may block the opponent's use of the pocket. 1. In snooker any of the 15 balls worth one point each that can be potted in any order. During the course of a break a player must first pot a red followed by a color, and then a red in color, etc., until the reds run out and then the re-spotted six colors must be cleared in their order. Potting more than one red in a single shot is not a foul the player simply gets a point for each red potted. Red balls are never numbered one on their surface, even in sets in which the colors are numbered with their values. 1. In snooker, the abandonment of a frame upon agreement between the players, so that the balls can be set up again and the frame restarted with no change to the score since the last completed frame. This is the result of situations, such as trading of containing safeties where there is no foreseeable change to the pattern of shots being played, so the frame could go on indefinitely. 1. Same as re-spotted black. A chiefly British term for a set of mechanical bridges. British-style rests differ from most American-style rake bridges in shape, and take several forms, the cross, the spider, and the swan as well as the rarer and often unsanctioned hook. When used unqualified, the word usually refers to the cross. Rests are used in snooker, English billiards, and black ball. 1. To place the balls properly for the beginning of a game, in 8 ball, properly setting up requires that the rear corners of the rack not have two stripes or two solids but one of each. For most pocket billiards games this is in a racked pattern, but the term is applicable more broadly than rack, e.g. in carom billiards and in pocket games like bottle pool. Contrast Layout 1. Verb, to perform some act or make some utterance with the intent to distract, irritate or intimidate the opponent so that they do not perform well, miss a shot, etc. Most league and tournament rules forbid blatant sharking, as a form of unsportsmanlike conduct, but it is very common in bar pool. Spin placed on the cue ball when hit with the cue tip to the left or right of the ball's center, usually called English in American usage. See English, in its narrower definition, for details on the effects of side spin. See illustration at spin. Also single elimination. A tournament format in which a player is out of the tournament after a single match loss. Contrast double elimination. Also spider rest. A type of rest, similar to a common American style rake bridge but with longer legs supporting the head so that the cue is higher and can reach over and around an obstructing ball to reach the cue ball. See also swan. Also swan rest. A type of rest, similar to a spider in that the head is raised by longer supporting legs, 
but instead of a selection of grooves on the top for the cue to rest in there is only one, on the end of an overhanging neck, so that a player can get to the cue ball more easily if the path is blocked by two or more obstructing balls. Also known as the goose neck. Same as follow. Contrast bottom spin, back spin. See illustration at spin. In snooker, the situation in which the cue ball is resting in contact with an object ball. If the object ball is a ball that may legally be hit, then it is allowable to simply hit away from it and it counts as having hit it in the shot. If that ball moves, then a push shot must have occurred, in which case it is a foul. This rule is sometimes applies to British pool as well as snooker. In American style pool, and in carom billiards, a less stringent definition of a push shot applies, see frozen. A thin sheet of rigid material in the size and shape of a physical ball rack, with holes drilled though it, which is used to make permanent divots in the cloth of the table, one at a time for each ball in the racking pattern, by placing a ball in one of the holes in the carefully placed template and tapping it sharply from above to create the cloth indentation. The holes are spaced slightly closer than the regulation ball width of 2 1 2 inch apart, so that when the balls settle partially into their divots, the outer sides of these indentations create ball-on-ball -ball pressure, pushing the balls together tightly. The purpose of the template is to do away with using a physical rack, with racking instead being performed simply by placing the balls into position, and the divots aligning them into the tightest possible formation automatically. This prevents accidental loose racks, and also thwarts the possibility of cheating by carefully manipulating the ball positions while racking. The European Pocket Billiard Federation has adopted this racking technique for its professional Euro Tour event series. See also Racking Template, Pocket Template. An exhibition shot designed to impress either by a player's skill or knowledge of how to set the balls up and take advantage of the angles of the table, usually a combination of both. A trick shot may involve items otherwise never seen during the course of a game, such as bottles, baskets, etc., and even members of the audience being placed on or around the table. See Double Century 1. To hit the object ball with not enough of a cut angle, hitting the object ball too full or fat. It is a well-known maxim that overcutting is preferable to undercutting because of the principle of the professional side of the pocket. May be used as a noun, that was a bad undercut. 1. Alternate name for the cue ball. N. Points on the wire are a type of handicap used, where a weaker player will be given a certain number of points before the start of the game. 281, 292. 1. In snooker, the lowest value color ball, being worth 2 points, 278 it is one of the bulk colors. In some snooker ball sets it is numbered 2 on its surface. It is placed on the yellow spot, 278, 10. Oh. P. Q. R. S. T. U. V. W. Y. Z.